Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. Yoga for core. We're going to work on a core, side and a back. And also, yes, uh, on the hips as well. Going to start on the back first. Let's just start on the back. So, feet and knees are staying hip width apart. They're really, really nice, good, gentle exercises, but you're going to feel strong on the core. Okay, so arms resting on the side. Feet and knees are hip width apart. Um, relax the shoulder. This is a really good exercise for opening up the back, making the back relax the spine supple and soft. But also very good exercise for the core. So let's just, let just uh, feel like a little set up first. So feel the base lock is uh, engaged. So you're engaging the base lock. Uh, that's your pelvic floor. You sort of feel like you're pulling, pulling the tummy. Ribs in, arms are resting out like this, shoulders are relaxed. Then just slowly breathe in, turn your legs to the right. And exhale, bring your legs back to the center. Breathing in, returning legs to the left. And exhale and bringing back. So ribs are staying in, tummy staying in, inhale, turning. Exhale and back. Breathe in, returning the legs. And breathe out, returning legs back. Breathe in, turning the legs. Exhale and back. Breathe in, turn and breathe out and back. Shoulders are staying relaxed, ribs are staying in, keeping the tummy engaged, keeping the core, keeping the powerhouse engaged. Exhale and back. So, four more. Three. Last two. And just one more. Feeling back, feeling very relaxed and comfortable. You enjoying. Yeah, okay, so let's just bring the right leg, right knee to the chest, both hands up onto the right leg. Now, focus keeping hip parallel and your spine in neutral. Gently pulling your leg towards you to sort of create a stretch for the hip. And pull the tummy in and lift the base, lock up and extend the left leg straight down. So we're going to hold it here, shoulder relaxed. And as we exhale, slowly lifting and bringing your head up, chest up towards your knees, sort of trying to touch. Got imprinting the spine here. Hold here for three breaths. So keep pulling tummy in. Two more. Last one. Let's first lower your head down and then you bend the left leg and lower your knee down. Good. Okay, bringing the left leg, left knee to the chest. Beautiful. Okay, so first we're keeping hip parallel. We're lifting the base lock, pulling the tummy, and hips are staying parallel, using the lower abs and hip flexor to pull that leg towards to us. And then we're lowering the right leg straight down. Good. Exhaling, pulling the tummy, lifting the base lock. Inhale again. Uh, just exhale, draw your ribs as so warming up using the upper abs, getting rid of all the air from the lungs and exhale, holding here. So just breathe in, breathe out now. Breathe in, breathe out. Two more breaths. Last one. Pavan Mukta Asan. Uh, we call uh, air release pose, just getting rid of all the air from the system, also uh, working on abs, activating the abs. Okay, bringing both knees towards your chest, feet, knees are staying hip width apart. Uh, the full Pavan Muktasana. Okay, so hands outside here, relax the shoulder, do the same things using the hip flexors, pulling the tummy, engaging the core. Yep, keep bringing the knees to the chest. And at this time, as you breathe out, draw your ribs and lift the head up, chest up. So pulling the tummy, hold it here. Keep breathing. Pull the tummy, draw your ribs and try to lift the head. So sort of curling up further towards your knees using the abs. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Last one. Okay, so let's just rest the head first 
and a little your feet down beautiful okay so let like just a little bit of hamstring release but we also working on a core right leg up on a tabletop that will uh, make it easy to lift your leg high so hips are parallel engage your base lock pull the tummy hands are behind your right leg like this shoulder relax but I just exhale extend the right leg breathe in bend exhale extend again breathe in bend so just releasing uh, or you call a neural flossing exhale inhale bend so if your hamstrings are feeling tired that we're going to release the tightness from the hamstring exhale inhale back last one so hold it here keep the base lock on breathe out your flex breathe in and point your foot breathe out your flex the foot breathe in you point your foot three more exhale you flex inhale point not forcing too much good one last two and the last one exhale beautiful good bend the leg and let just rest good all right so left leg so feel hips are parallel pulling the tummy hands are behind engage base lock and exhale extend the leg beautiful bend the leg exhale extend the leg again breathe in bend you're going to really feel good in your in your core in your body in your hips good last two exhale bend the leg last one exhale so just hold it here good okay so breathe out flex and breathe in you point your foot exhale you flex inhale you point your foot exhale you flex inhale you point so just two more now that's very good last one beautiful good okay let's rest okay bring the right leg hips staying parallel again hands are behind okay so adding it this time extend the left leg straight down so this is a good stretch again okay so push the left knee down strongly let just exhale and extend the right leg breathe in bend the leg just adding more stretch for the hip bend the leg beautiful exhale inhale bend exhale breathe in and bend last one so just exhale we're staying here this time let just flex the foot and point the foot you are going to feel a bit more stretch of the back of your hamstring back of your calf good last two keeping the neck relaxed and the shoulder relaxed last one okay let's just rotate now from the ankle good yeah. remember we're keeping the base lock on keeping the core engaged good do the other way around good um, in one verse the Shiva says to a Parvati in the yoga Hatha yoga Pradipika good and relax bend the leg and bring the left leg back and down um, if uh, if someone's a core someone's core is weak the core he representing the pelvic floor the base lock is weak uh, even the gods can't save that person so the core uh, the uh, yeah like lots of people say oh well with the yoga uh, it's all about uh, making the core strong and drawing that energy up to the base uh, to the uh, to the last chakra okay so hand here let's just lower the right leg straight down so the core strengthening uh, the strength of the core is a very important okay so lower the right leg down hold the core strong zip up let's just exhale and extend the leg breathe and bend the leg exhale you'll know why I'm doing this exercise later okay bend the leg again exhale extend breathe and bend the leg just two more beautiful last one that's good so just hold here let's just flex the foot point the foot exhale flex the foot inhale point the foot exhale flex the foot inhale point two more good last one you're doing so good okay let's do a circle rotation rotate from the ankle beautiful two more good and do the other way now perfect you're doing such a good job good and you're doing 
your exercise regularly, your yoga regularly, coming back, looking after your body, looking after yourself, very happy. Good, okay. Bend the leg and bend the right leg as well and let's rest, perfect. Okay, so hips are staying parallel. You can in through your nose, out through your mouth. You can in and out through your nose, okay? So don't be too rigid with the program. Oh, this is not a yoga exercise I've never seen. Um, well, maybe we're not aware of, okay? So we all exercises, are all, all exercise, all movements are good movement. Okay, open the elbow, exhale, curling up, inhale down. Pull the tummy, releasing the tightness from the back and also strengthening our core. Good. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. That's good. So that's the upper wraps and now we're going on to a lower wrap. So resting the upper wraps, ribs in from the tummy, sink the tummy. Lifting the leg as we're breathing in and lowering the leg as we're breathing out. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Very good. Up. So that's four, five, six. Keep the foot pointed, seven. Keep the tummy in, eight, two more nine last one and ten you are awesome good left leg straight strong point the foot pull the tummy engage your base lock inhale lift exhale down keep the tummy in ribs in flatten those stomach good your abs keep the foot pointed strong good work Okay, four, three, two more. And last one, and rest, good. Bend the leg, feet, knees, hip width apart. So we've done the lower abs, and now we're coming on to upper abs. So obliques, exhale up, inhale back, up. Hips are staying stable. I'm showing you both breathing, so in through your nose. You can breathe out through your nose. Also, clearing your sinuses, clearing your nose, so that people always have blockage there. So it's just a clearing. Okay, both legs are straight now. Then we're going to keep working. Okay, so feet are staying slightly apart, arms are resting. Okay, first we're engaging, pulling the tummy ribs in. Let's alternate leg up this time. Inhale up, exhale down. Beautiful. Inhale. Not forcing too much. Exhale down four. Powerful exhalation. Six to go. Base lock zone. Let's bend the legs, hips are parallel. Now, let's just lift the head up, chest up, palms facing towards you. Good, and do side to side. It's a breathe out to the side. You can, if your nose are working strongly, I'll prefer you to breathe out to your nose. So just follow that yoga principle. So that's uh, 
clearing the sinuses, clearing the nose. So when we come into a meditative state, you can sit for a long time without exerting, knowing you're breathing in, breathing out. Okay, let's just rest down. Very good. So the next exercise is a little bit hard. Be careful when you're doing this exercise. But I don't know you're doing really good. Legs are together. Arms up. Good. Pull the tummy. Ribs in. Engage your core. Not, not lifting both legs, okay? So let's just lift the right leg up again. Inhale. Exhale. Turn to the left. And down slowly like a circle. Breathe in. Lift the left leg this time. And exhale. Turn. And down. Beautiful. Okay, eight more. Inhale. And down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. You're allowed to lift the hip. And stretch a little bit more. Not clicking in the hip. Pull the tummy. Okay, so last two. Very good. Last one. Perfect. Let's just bend the legs. Good. Okay. So lift the legs again on a tabletop. Knees together, feet together. Hands are behind your head. Pull the tummy. And just exhale. Lift up. Inhale down. Five more. You can breathe out through your mouth. Okay, so if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling you're exhausting, you can just keep your feet down. You might be thinking, oh, what Jess is doing? What? Okay, so all I'm doing is just making you strong, making you believe in yourself. Okay, you can change. Good. Okay, let's rest. Beautiful. Okay, so with the next exercise, just watch the technique. So we're going to be very careful this next one. I want you to keep your hands onto your hips and sort of feeling your both hips are aligned and this time you're not allowed to rock your hips so you're not aligned to lift the opposite hip we're going to do a circle outside be careful when we're doing it no clicking in the hip start with a smaller circle okay so engage your core uh, the base lock pulling the tummy feel hollow feel the ribs in your hands are here let just breathe and lift the legs straight up exhale turning out beautiful Inhale, left leg, exhale, breathe in, and breathe out, inhale, exhale, inhale, keep going, okay, four more, up, two more, last one, Beautiful. You are amazing. You are amazing. You're doing good. Okay, legs up. Hands behind. Good. Okay, let's do the alternate arm and leg uh, bicycle elbow twist. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, breathe out. Whichever works for you, you just keep keep breathing. So ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And let's rest. Out. Well, that's working. Good one. Good. All right. So both legs are straight together. This is a little bit different now. Feet together. Yep. Hands are behind your head. So modify half foot. Open your elbows. Yep. Point the chin. And then slowly draw your ribs from the tummy and lift the head up, chest up. Pull the tummy. Keep breathing and keep the base lock on and lift the right leg just slightly off the floor. Hold for three, two, and down slowly. Yep, okay. So exhale, engage the base lock, lift the left leg and lift the head up, chest up. So just hold it there for five, four, three, two, and go down slowly. So remember you keep breathing when you're doing this one. Engage your core. Ribs in firm, the tummy lift the right leg up. Oh, sorry, lift the head first, sorry. And then lift the leg up. Hold it there. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. 
and let it rest. Good, okay. So last one, you're doing so good. Breathe out, lift the head first, draw your ribs from the tummy. Feel those left obliques, left cores are working. Left leg slightly up, hold it there. Let those abs work. Good, and now go down slowly. Beautiful, amazing, good job. Legs together strongly, good. Haven't finished yet, good. So this time, try to sort of imprint the spine a little bit and then just lift the head up. Squeeze those legs together and lift both legs up slightly. Pull the tummy. Make sure your backs are not feeling it. If your backs are feeling, just lower your feet down and just hold the head up. Okay, and go down slowly. I'm not going to modify next time. Good. Think you're bracing. Think you're really using these muscles to hold and support the back. Are you ready? Good. Exhale up. Engage. Pull the tummy. Are you ready? Lift the legs. Hold it there. Not too much. Good. Hold it strong. Okay. Let's go down slowly. Oh. Bending the legs again. Good. And this time, we're joining the knees together. So keep those knees together. Feel those inside thighs are strongly working. Arms are slightly up. And inhale, turn the legs to the right, keeping the tummy, keeping the core engaged. Left foot rolling onto the right. And exhale, we're bringing the legs back using the core, using the obliques. Inhale, turn. Exhale and back. Breathe in, turn. And breathe out back. Inhale. Exhale. So we're doing a little fast today. Good. As I said, like, you know, yoga have everything. We're not really good. I'm not giving you time to think too much. Exhale and back. So that's the whole focus is taking your mind away from your everyday thinking. Good. Last four now. Keeping the knees together, keeping the feet together, so just releasing the tightness from the outside the hip. Also, we're working on the obliques and the back. Breathe out. And last one now. And exhale and back. You're doing such a good job. Get legs together. It's coming back, doing your exercise. Good. Okay. So have a look. Just watch me first. And then we'll start again. This is just to showing off. You can have a little rest here. So exhale, curling curling and lifting slightly up like this so this time arms are here legs are here so not coming too far up and we're going down slowly okay yeah you see i'm not coming all the way up but we're sinking we're drawing uh we're trying to imprint the lower back this time are you ready okay so go exhale up and ribs in ribs in engage your core and lift up good so the difference this time is your hands are not behind, the rest is all same. Hold it. Hold it. One more. Okay, let us rest down slowly. Good job. So, last one. Okay, you ready? Legs together, feet together. And just first lift the head up, chest up. Draw your ribs and go a little higher and this time place your, lift the legs, place your hands behind your legs and just curl a little more now. That's good. Hold it here. So lifting up, that's good. Support or you can, I'm feeling it, so you can go up a little and hold. You can hold the legs and just stay here. And now go down slowly. Ah, rest. Beautiful. Good job. Oh, good. Okay. So legs are here. Arms are resting. Feet and knees are slightly apart. Let's just do the bicycle. Pull the tummy. Long legs. Now in case your hips are clicking, you can always modify so you're not extending the legs too much. Good. Let's do the backwards. Keep going. Ribs in. 
And this is the last one for today. And let's rest. Very good. Good job. Okay, so bridge. Feet, knees, shoulder width apart, arms resting on the side. And I just push onto your heels and just gently lift the hips up. Inhale. Exhale down slowly, just one vertebrae at a time. Up again, inhale. And exhale down. So we in a Pilates we do differently. So in Pilates we exhaling and inhaling we're squeezing the button and exhaling we're going down slowly. If you're used to that, you can do that one. In in the yoga we do breathing, lifting up. So any extension we do in yoga, we do with the breathing in. And exhale, we're coming down slowly. Last, whichever, whatever work for you. Exhale down. Last one. So staying there. Let's just exhale, turn the knees up. Inhale and back. Four more, three, two more, last one, and back and rest, that's very good. Okay, let's take a turn on to the side and sit up, good. I'll show you the next one, good. Now, uh, starting with the easy one first, like a... Uh, it's a massage for the back, but also working on a core. Um, so the focus is to keeping back curl, keeping the back soft. So rocking. Massaging the back. So make sure your back staying curl and back staying relaxed. more. So making the back supple, massaging, massaging the nerves, all the, all the ribs, okay, making sure those vertebrae are staying relaxed, your back staying relaxed. Two more. And it's abs exercise as well, keeping the tummy in, keeping the back cool. And just give a little rest. Good. We're going to do another one. We're just adding a level. So grabbing the ankles, keeping the feet closed, and keeping back like a ball. Head down. If you're not comfortable with this exercise, just give a rest. Keep the tummy in. That's like a child play. Exhale, curl, inhale. Last one. And rest. Very good. Good. So, feet are hip width apart. Arms are here. And doing the moving Paschimottasana. So, I'm going down slowly, arms are here, and up, and touching the feet. You can assist, you can get a little assistance, ask someone for help. And breathe out, going up. Good. 
good stretch for the back and the hips and the hamstring every time try to go a little further and rest good we're going to do one more good doing one more a uh, little rest good you can uh, you can hold someone's hand you can grab something to do these exercises okay you can always modify you can hold the legs or just at the start just do as many as you can do comfortably good now um, I'm sort of giving you a little uh, test always giving a little challenge so uh, that's not to make you feel bad even look you know I struggle sometimes um, but it's just to make us a stronger our mind strong our body strong okay go down exhale inhale two and a reach further ten to go Two more. Last one. That's good. <laughs> uh, the pants need to adjust. Good. Okay. Let's see if you need to have a little drink. Have a little drink. Pause. And let's lie down on your tummy. Beautiful. Good. Okay. So, feet are staying hip width apart, and our hands are here. Modify uh, Cobra, pulling the shoulder. Hands are here, probably lifting the hands slightly off the floor. Okay, so let's just lift the head up, chest up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Eight more. And down, keep the tummy in, and down, up, and down, four more, three, and down, last two, using the upper back and keeping the tummy in, not pushing the tummy to lift up, and let's rest, good, okay. Let's stretch your right arm straight and bring your left arm behind your back. Good. Keep the tummy in and let us lift the right arm, left leg up. Inhale and down. Up and down. Eight more. And down. Seven. You can turn your hand like this. Up. Four. Three. Last two. And just one more. Hold it for three, two, and rest. Good. You see, um, counter balancing, counteracting. So before we did that forward bending and we were working on the abs and a stretching the back of the body and now we're working on back and stretching the front of the body. Good. Okay. Switch. Inhale up. Exhale down. Up. And down. Four more, three, last two, 
and just one more and rest beautiful good a little rest good strong core good arms are shoulder width apart feet are staying hip width apart pulling the tummy and now we're going to do alternate arm and legs breathe in now this time you breathe in deep up up Late. Punch it, thumb up. Last two. Last one. And rest. Wow. That's really, really good workout. Oh, I'm feeling it. Good. Okay. So we're going to do reverse sport five times. Arms are behind. Good. Your feet together, or you can keep your feet slightly separate. Um, I'm keeping my feet together. Okay. Uh, just up. We can turn the hands like this. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Pull your head, but eyes are staying down. Hand down slowly. And a rest. Okay, legs together. I'm keeping it together. You can keep slightly separate. See how you feel. Up. And down slowly. Legs are slightly wide when we're resting. Head on one side. Give yourself rest. So we're doing five times. It's a two. Three to go, yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Legs together again. Knees together and going down. Squeeze the shoulder blades and pull your head back. And down slowly. Rest the head onto the side. Recovery. So two more. Last two. Legs are together with me. Up. Pull your head. High boat. Reverse boat. And down. Good. You rest the head on to the other side. recovering okay so this time I'm keeping my feet hip width apart and we're lifting up hold it now we're doing the side to side as we did in the front seven eight nine ten more one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and let's rest let go just rest a little bit okay so we're coming up on all four 
just the counter stretch knees are wide hip width apart feet are close and a sit back you can rest the hands here you can reach your arms forward keeping your hands shoulder width apart let your back let your back rest I'm doing really good stay there for a little bit more okay nice okay so we're doing a core and we're not doing a plank it's just like a disrespect for the core so we're going to do the plank now on the elbows hands are shoulder width apart you ready good okay feet back hip width apart so tuck the tail and pinch the buttocks pull your tummy and pull your head back holding here so we're focusing, pushing the heels back first to stretch the calf and also working on the shin muscles. Holding the cords strong and pulling the tummy strongly, pushing the arms strong, pulling the head back. It is a strong workout, the core workout. Now that's how we're going to get strong and feel strong. Hold it there. Ten more seconds. Knees are down. Knees to feet hip width apart. Let's sit back onto your heels. Give a little rest. So let's lie on the side, bend both legs, arm here, elbow here. We almost finished, okay? So I promise we got up, hold. So we're staying here strong, lifting the hip and bringing the bottom hip slightly forward and lifting up, flex, good. Lift the arm and lift your arm above, good. Feel you flexing those uh, side hip obliques. Hold it there for another 10 seconds. Okay, let's just come back now. Very good. Okay, let's do the other side. Good, nice. Okay, so back, uh, bottom hip staying slightly forward. Your, your elbow staying slightly under, not over that side. Okay, lifting up, so just onto your position. Turn that hip forward and lift the hip and lift your arm up high. Good, now flex those side muscle. Pull your tummy and lift the arm above your head like making a bridge good up hold looking up a little more ten more seconds and down slowly beautiful good okay 
So back onto the plank. I can feel it. Good. Now the plank this time is on we on a high plank here. Good. So it's all core. Feet the hip width apart. Push the heels, extend the legs, squeeze the lower buttocks, pull the tummy, keep your arms strong and pull your head back. Hold it strong. Breathing. Almost there, ten more seconds. And up knees are down. And I sit back onto your heels again to give a Full rest. It's a really, really good exercises. Good. So, elbow under. Bring the top leg forward and your bottom leg back. Good. Like that. Good. Bottom hip forward and lifting up. Hold it. Lift the arm. And now start making a bridge and lift the arm above your head. Hold it there. So I'm looking up. You can keep your head here. You can turn and hold wherever you feel like it's comfortable. Ten more seconds. And down. Very good. Good. Um, don't feel, um, oh sorry, don't think I don't feel anything or I'm very fit or I don't get sore, I don't feel in my body. I feel the same. Okay? Um, but um, it's a work. Um, this is we're getting strong. We are strong. Okay, up. Hold it, pull the tummy, and let's bring your arm above your head. Stay strong. Ten more seconds. sit back onto your heels, give a little rest. Sort of coming to the end of the workout, we give more rest because we sort of, um, uh, yes, running out of, <laughs> we're running out of energy. So that's the focus. All right. Um, um, before we do the back reverse plank, we're going to do the push-ups. I thought, oh, it's already got too hard session today. I'll miss the push-ups, but I, I put on my plan. We are going to do some sort of push-ups every day. Uh, we're going to do chaturanga push-ups today. Um, you can do on the knees. Now, you always know we do it twice. Good. Now, I'm going to do first onto the knees. Going down, exhale up. It feels easy today. Seven, keep your elbows closed. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Sit back onto your heels. Good. Give it a rest. 
Good. Because we worked on a core, that's why it feels easy today. Give a little rest. Good. So one more Chaturanga push-ups and then reverse plank and then I'll make you relax. Okay, relax. But just stay with me if you're doing if you're doing it, don't just give up. Just five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Whatever you can do, okay, with your heart. Good. I'm resting too much. Good. Hmm. Doing the full chaturanga. I'm thinking 15 in my mind. And I'm going to do that. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Resting a little bit. That was 20. Good. Give a little rest. Breathe in, breathe out. That was hard. Okay, let's do the last reverse plank and then we'll come to a Relaxation time. You might be waiting for the relaxation. Good. Up. Okay. So squeeze the buttocks and lift up strongly. Good. Keep make your arms strong, straight, and sort of feel rocking onto the arms, feeling right and left arms are both good. Carrying the same weight. We also helping our shoulders. Good. Okay. Hold up. Go up and down, up and down, go, three, seven, eight, nine, and ten, hold, and extend your right leg, left leg, eight more, seven, keep the hips up, Four, three, two more, last one, that's good, and now come down slowly, ah, good, sit cross leg, good, let's just bring your arm onto your side, and a stretch, not such a good set of exercises, I'm not feeling Bad, not feeling weak, not feeling like it's getting harder. But it was, a, it was the hardest session. Even I'm feeling it. Okay, switch. Your body. Your body and your mind is expandable. Whichever side you want to. You want to be dull, dumb, uh, useless. Uh, you can be uh, smart, stronger, faster, and useful. Useful for you, useful for others, useful for your family, useful for the community, for the world. Good. Okay, shake your arms and let's just lie down on your back. You can rest the hands if you want to sit. If you're lying on the back, just relax the arms onto the side. Eyes are closed. Just make yourself comfortable, calm, breathing in, breathing out, a surrender. Once a, once a horse rider riding the horse came out from came out from the um, from the forest to the road his horse was galloping here to there 
running here today. And one of his friends seen and asked, where are you going in such a rush? Where are you up to? He said, don't ask me, ask my horse. See the crazy mind, restless mind, is like that mad horse. It doesn't know where taking its rider. The peaceful mind, mind under the control of the conscious. See, sometimes when we're outside, we want to say something harsh, bad, and even with the kids or our parents want to swear or say something harsh or rude, then we control ourselves. No, this is not really good choice. Let's just not say this. And then we find the right word. With the conscious effort we change the course of what's going to happen next. Stay calm and relax. You see, once a student, he used to get very angry. He went to his teacher. He used to get angry at people and then feel guilty and feel bad. He went to his guru. He asked, and the guru said, it's okay, not to stress, not to worry. But now any time you, you feel you get angry at someone, you tell that person, I'll come and talk to you tomorrow. So if anyone annoys you, or anyone make you angry, anyone make you disturb, wait for a day and give that person an answer next day. So don't reply straight away. That person went back to his teacher after a few years he said, you changed my life. So this, so now, before I get angry, I think, I go home and I think again, and I feel it's unnecessary getting angry because they're not going to understand what I'm trying to tell. So instead of wasting time and also wasting my energy, Yes, for first few years I, I failed, but then after it started becoming my habit. And now, I hardly even get angry. Thank you. Okay, so, so just move your feet, move your hands, slowly turning head to side to side. Let's take a turn onto your right side. Sitting up. Smile on your face. Relax your face. Eyes bright and shining, even it's closed. Serene face, the forehead is relaxed. The skull is relaxed. Back of the neck, back of the shoulders are relaxed. The whole spine is relaxed. Whole body is relaxed. Feeling open. Good. Now you just rub your hands, your palms. A little smile on your face. Keep that smile. And now place your hands onto your eyes. And now just slowly open your eyes and take your hands away. Thank you very much. And just keep looking after yourself. Thank you. Namaste.